the Second World War, a global cataclysm, a nightmare of industrial slaughter, the likes of which the world had never seen. Out of the ashes rose something born of desperation and manic ingenuity, the wonder weapon. As the war turned against them, the Germans poured their remaining resources into developing revolutionary new weapons. These were things seemingly ripped from the pages of science fiction, technological marvels meant to defy the odds. Join me now as we delve into the history of five of the most incredible German Wunderwaffen of World War II. Imagine the streets of London, 1944. The Blitz is a fading nightmare, but a new terror descends from the sky. This is the V-2, the world's first long-range ballistic missile. Over 3,000 V-2S would rain down on Allied cities, a terrifying display of technological prowess. The brainchild of Werner von Braun, the V-2 was a marvel of engineering. Standing over 45 feet tall, fueled by a volatile mixture of liquid oxygen and alcohol, it could scream through the stratosphere at speeds exceeding 3,500 miles per hour. The V-2 could deliver its one-ton explosive payload over 200 miles away, striking with terrifying precision. This weapon laid the foundation for the rockets that would one day carry mankind to space. The year is 1944. Allied bombers darken the skies over Germany. The Luftwaffe is outnumbered, outgunned. Then a whisper begins to circulate, a rumor of a new weapon, a jet-powered fighter, unlike anything the world had ever seen. This was the Mi-262, a plane seemingly touched by the gods of speed. Imagine yourself in the cockpit, the roar of its twin jet engines propelling the aircraft to speeds exceeding 540 miles per hour. The Mi-262 was armed with an array of 30mm cannons capable of tearing apart Allied bombers with terrifying efficiency. But here's the tragedy of the Mi-262. It arrived too late hampered by production delays and strategic blunders. Despite its limited impact, the Mi-262 shattered conventional thinking about aerial warfare. It proved that the future belonged to jet aircraft, ushering in a new era of aerial combat. Picture this. A weapon so large, so monstrously powerful, that it has to be transported on a specially designed railway track. This was the Schwerer Gustav, a weapon seemingly designed to level cities. This 300-foot-long steel giant weighed over 1,350 tons. Its crew numbered over 1,400 men, a small army dedicated to operating this single weapon. The Gustav could hurl seven-ton shells over a distance of 28 miles, its shells capable of penetrating reinforced concrete. Deploying this monster required over two miles of railway tracks and took weeks to assemble and prepare for firing. While it saw limited action, primarily in the siege of Sevastopol in 1942, the Gustav stands as a testament to the scale of industrial warfare. It was a weapon born of a different era, a time when brute force was still seen as the ultimate solution. The Battle of the Atlantic, a desperate struggle for control of the sea lanes, German U-boats stalked Allied convoys, threatening to starve Britain into submission. But by 1943, the tide was turning. Allied technology was beginning to tip the scales. It was against this backdrop that a new breed of hunter emerged, the Type Tal-1 U-boat, a submarine so advanced it would revolutionize naval warfare. Previous U-boats were essentially surface ships that could dip below the waves for short periods. But the Type Tunisant one was different, a true submersible designed to operate primarily underwater. Its streamlined hull, advanced batteries and snorkel system allowed it to stay submerged for extended periods, making it far stealthier and deadlier. The Type Tunisant's advanced design laid the groundwork for modern submarine design. The skies of World War II were dominated by propeller-driven aircraft, their shapes familiar, their limitations clear. But in the minds of some German engineers, a different vision was taking shape, a vision of sleek, futuristic aircraft gliding through the air with unmatched speed and agility. 
This was the dream embodied by the Horton Ho 229, an experimental flying wing aircraft so advanced it seemed to prefigure the future of aviation. Imagine this, no fuselage, no tail, just a sleek bat-like wing with a buried engine and a cockpit nestled inside. The Horton brothers believed that this radical configuration held the key to unlocking unprecedented aerodynamic performance. The Ho 229, powered by two jet engines, was theoretically capable of reaching speeds approaching 600 miles per hour. But what truly set the Ho 229 apart was its stealth capabilities, its blended wing design and use of radar absorbent materials. While never fully realized, the Ho 229's stealth features hinted at a future where aircraft could slip unseen through enemy defenses. From the terror unleashed by the V2 to the futuristic design of the Horton Ho 229, these wonder weapons stand as a testament to the ingenuity and desperation of World War II. These weapons pushed the boundaries of what was technologically possible offering a glimpse into a future shaped by both incredible promise and terrifying destructive potential. But as we've seen, the outcome of wars isn't solely determined by technological superiority. Timing, resources and strategic vision all play a crucial role. The legacy of these weapons raises questions about the nature of innovation, the role of technology in warfare and the responsibility of those who wield such power.